Jay, thank you so much for being a part of the Teddy Jury this year. Uh, can you start by introducing your background and the work that you do? Yep, uh, my name is Jay Bernard, I'm from London. Uh, and I am a programmer at BFI Flare, um, which is London's LGBTQ plus film festival. Okay. And you've, you're a filmmaker yourself, so you've made um, a couple of multimedia pieces in the past. And I think both of the pieces that you did used queer film techniques to kind of examine topics of race. And I wondered sort of the importance of intersectionality in, in your work and if that's something you'll be looking for in the Teddy films this year. 100%. Um, yeah, I've made one short film um, and I've done a few sort of um, new media pieces as well. Um, mostly looking at history and how it informs uh, our current moment. Um, we're in a very strange political moment right now, particularly in the UK. So it felt important to, um, yeah, as you say, use, use the, the queer techniques of interrogation and queering things um, to be able to get some kind of perspective on stuff. Um, and that's certainly the critical standpoint that I have. So sure, during this uh, run as a, as a jury member, I'm for sure looking for people who are, yeah, really interrogating things, interrogating the current moment, interrogating um, maybe some of our assumptions. Um, yeah. And is there anything that you've kind of already been struck by from the films that you've seen so far? Uh, I thought Monos was uh, a really wonderful uh, way of looking at a uh, political conflict and it did it uh, in a really interesting way of, of creating a kind of its own internal universe mm -hmm. um, and it was so believable that universe that it didn't need uh, explicit plot points as such it could just show the sort of interpersonal react, uh, reactions yeah. like among people mm -hmm. I thought that was really brilliant um, super cinematic super exciting super interesting I really enjoyed Greta as well. You know, I thought Greta did a really good job of like looking at that sort of um, lying to yourself and to others. Uh, I thought that was really great, and I love the aesthetic of that too. Um, and uh, I'm on the spot now, but <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It. But those two come to mind immediately yeah. um, as, as super interesting pieces. That, um, yeah, that were intellectually stimulating to me as someone who's looking for that critical standpoint and that critical view. Yeah. And how do you think that your background will help inform your decision making over the next few days? Yeah, I think it's important to bring your background. I, I think it's important to um, to ensure that your, your your critical position is heard rather than trying to remove it from the table because I think actually you can make strange decisions when you do that. Um, but I'm also very open, you know what I mean? Like I, like I said, we have seven jury members. Um, that's a lot of people. And we have 20 plus films. Mm. That's a lot of films. And um, you know, not all of the films are approaching uh, the topic of uh, queerness and politics and gender and sexuality in exactly the same way. So I think that's one of the questions when you're on a jury, right? It's like, well, what are you highlighting? What are you not highlighting? What do you want to uh, focus on, what do you not want to focus on? Um, and I, I think for sure I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking for things that are pushing things forward, you know what I mean, and, and really interrogating, kind of cutting through um, rather than things that maybe feel safer. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today. And, yeah, good luck with making the decisions tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to need it. <laughs>